So in the previous segment of the section, we saw that the password of Sam Carter was changed to the same that was earlier his password. Plus, we were also able to see the password in clear text format. In order to apply some restrictions on the kind of passwords that the users could use, we need a password policy. Now, what do you mean by a password policy? I want to bore you again by saying that password policy is just, just another LD file. Now, what is there inside an LD file? I think we are now familiar with an LD file. It starts with a distinguished name, which helps us identify the position of that entry in the DIT, the directory information tree. It may have some attributes. And where are the attributes defined? The attributes are defined by the object class inside the schema. So we have a schema, we have a set of rules that defines the object classes as well as the attributes defined by the object class. We had some look at it in the previous sections and it's the same thing that we are discussing now. We have a password policy which is nothing but an LD file. If you look at this LD file here as an example, you could see that I have a DN which is actually cn is equal to normal policy that's actually the name of my policy normal policy where is it kept it's kept under the branch dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com of course there are few attributes i have used here one of the attributes is the common name attribute which has a value normal policy that's exactly you see here this cn attribute is defined by an object class named device you can always verify this by going and looking at the schema. You can search for the attribute CN and then you can identify there are a number of object classes that define CN. You will choose the appropriate object class. In this case, I've chosen the object class to be the device. So device is the object class that defines the attribute called CN. Similarly, there is another attribute called PWD attribute, which in turn points to the attribute that we are planning for the user password. And that attribute is nothing but user password. And there is one more attribute that says, how many passwords would you like to have in the history? I would say two passwords, meaning I cannot reuse my earlier two passwords when I change my password, if I apply this specific rule. So I have written a rule in an LD file. So all you need to do is to edit a file, an empty file, and then put this entry inside that empty file, run an LDAP add command, the normal policy is going to be seated under dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com so that's how we define a password policy now the question is how is this password going to password policy going to take effect for everyone every entry below dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com agreed we created a password policy in the form of ld file we applied an ldap add or possibly an ldap modify command to put that password policy under dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com so under the branch dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com there is a password policy by the name cn is equal to normal policy but now the next question is how do we make sure that every user under dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com has to adhere to this password policy which is normal policy that is why we have p policy overlay you remember we talked about overlays in the past also if you remember the access log and the audit log what did we do we added these two overlays into the branch olc database 1bdb one is nothing but an index if you remember it my database suffix is dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com i enabled audit log i enabled access log in my previous section by adding the overlay that's exactly what i would be doing in this section also but this time my overlay is a password policy overlay this password policy overlay defines certain attributes just like audit log overlay if you refer back to my a previous discussion on the audit log overlay there was an attribute that defined the file where the audit logs were raised similarly when we talked about access log there was an attribute for the access log overlay that defined the database where the access logs were made just the same way there is an attribute for the p policy overlay overlay that defines the default password policy for a specific suffix so in the end we are doing only a couple of things one 
we define an overlay called p policy overlay under this database that is the step number one this p policy overlay has an attribute that points to the default password policy for the suffix dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com once we define this overlay for the database and once the attribute of this overlay points to the password policy to be used as the default password policy for everyone under dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com just define this password policy in the form of an ld file and add this password policy into dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com everyone who belongs to that suffix would now have would now be under the rules of this normal password policy so again before i wind up this whiteboard discussion just two things you need to remember i'm going to define a password policy overlay under the database oilc database 1bdb which has a suffix dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com what does the password policy overlay contain it has attributes that points towards the default password policy so maybe it would be something like this if i may write it this overlay may have oilc p policy default so i would now point this to cn is equal to normal policy comma dc is equal to fedg dc is equal to com which would actually mean the password policy that i intend to use is the default password policy for dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com is nothing but this now i'm not done with it i will have to go and define that password policy with all the required attributes i mean it's kept simple in this example you could have many attributes like the minimum a number of characters for the password the maximum number of characters for the password all of those are attributes that are defined under the object class pwd policy just write that ld file put that ld file onto an appropriate location at the dit which is dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com the users are bound to follow what is defined in that password policy so two steps define the overlay inside the overlay specify the default password policy then create the default password policy and put that onto the DIT. So we will see that in action soon.